is Claire Burgess, and I'm a full faculty Biopheer certified instructor here in the United Kingdom. So, my tip for the Seattle Study Club is to double check your matrix, especially the spine of the matrix. So, if we have a look at the model here and the matrix, I'm using a bioclear matrix, which is a clear anatomical tooth form that's made of mylar. And if we have a look here, right in the center is what we will call the spine of the matrix. And that's where we want to see if it's lined up with the tooth next door. So if I insert this matrix just nicely on the distal of this central incisor, so I'm going to seat touch, it's going to seat about two millimeters subgingerly. And so we look from the facial and she looks in a good position but always check your spine. So I'm gonna turn this round, and what I'm referring to is literally this center line here, and how it's lined up with the tooth next door. If the matrix is too far facially, so if I bring it around to the facial there, we can see where the spine is much further round towards the facial. That's great if we want to build out a tooth, but if I want to align the tooth when I'm restoring with the tooth next door, I want the spine to be lined up with where that contact position will be. So I'm just going to pop her up and I'm going to insert her again. I'm going to try and do it so that the spines are nicely lined up. Way to check it is to look literally from the occlusal and you can see that the midpoint of that matrix is lined up right with that lateral incisor. So that's in a good position. Another example would be if I did the black triangle matrices. So I've got two size green large black triangle matrices here and I'm going to insert them just on the central incisors here. So I'm just coming through, and I'm gonna seat them both pretty much at the same time. We always wanna make sure that they're both sat about the same amount, okay? Sometimes you'll find the little green tabs might vary in height, so don't always go by that. That's another tip that's there. And again, I'm happy with the position, but I'm gonna have a look from the top. What are the sides like? Are they lined up nicely? So we can see on this central incisor, it's a little bit more towards the facial. So I'm going to use my little micro tweezers and I'm just going to pull that matrix just slightly towards the platel. So again, just coming through just a little bit. That's better. And then I'm just going to make sure they're fully set and I'm happier with that. So at the stage that we are here, you'd now etch wash and dry clinically and then you'd go to injection mold. And obviously when you inject your etch, etc., and your washing, sometimes the matrices might move slightly. So before you go ahead and inject your mold, again check from the facial, and then check your matrices, check your spines. I'm happy with the position, nothing's moved, and then I'm happy to inject your mold. So I will always check the matrix position, first of all when I'm trying them in, and then I'll recheck them again after I've etched, washed and dried just to make sure that my spines are lined up and that everything's in the correct position. The reason for this is the fact that then generally the more of the shape is completed on injection molding, there's less for me to be able to try and adjust after I've injection molded. So I hope that was a helpful tip for the Seattle Study Club. Thank you.